This is um, my father's Wheeler and Wilson treadle. And all I've done right now is install the, be the belt that my father had made as a replacement belt. And I've oiled the treadle. I took it apart to see what I was needing to know. Oiled the um, areas that moved, except for the tension knob at the chop back. And this will be the first times I'm trying to treadle this. Now, I did try it a moment ago, and uh, Miller from Treadle On and the Wheeler and Wilson Yahoo group has said that the belt should have one eighth of an inch clearance. And I think the belt that I'm using is just a little bit wide in a couple of places. And when I have the cloth plate off, the machine goes fine. Now that I've got the cloth plate back on, the belt um, being thick in a couple of places seems to get a little stuck. So I may have to figure out a way to uh, shave some off the belt in a couple of areas. But what I'm going to do now is try and see if I can get it to try. basically what just a little bit of oil will do. And the belt didn't even stop that time. Um, it had been stopping, but it didn't even stop. So let's try it again. And I'm getting it going by hand underneath uh, the cloth plate, but let's try it again. a different treadle action. There are two feet-shaped pedals below here, and normally on my other treadles, it's a square pedal, um, a, you know, like a full rectangle, and I'll put one foot on the back and one foot on the front and uh, alternate between my feet as to which one is pushing the pedal. But with the two feet-shaped pedals, I am finding that I'm moving both feet at the same time back and forth, which is working out my ankles. Let's try it again. I'm trying to see how fast I can go. Now the bobbin winder axle, which is what I call it because it's like an axle coming out from beneath is uh, turning fine. These have glass presser foot inserts. I do not have a needle in here yet um, because the needle on these is curved and it has to line up exactly with that hole in the glass insert. So right now I'm just getting it moving the way it's supposed to move before I try to sew with it. See that there's a point where the belt has just um, for some reason stopped. And what I can do is mark the belt um, with chalk, and then um, when I'm not trying to treadle it, I can just try to shave the belt in that area. I'll use like a single edge razor blade or something and just shave um, a little bit of the belt off and see if I can get it to go through a little bit more smoothly. It's not slipping off the balance wheel, though, which is good. So now, manually, I have to get it going again. And I believe on these, you always move the balance wheel toward the back. See? I mean, the belt is stuck there and doesn't want to go. Now that does happen to be where my lacing is. 
and it looks like one side of the belt has shifted over to the side a little bit. I had put a, a couple of extra holes in the lacing, but I noticed that it wasn't lined up on the edges as nicely as I wanted it to line up, so I could fix that too. Okay, so now the belt just slid off the balance wheel um, underneath, which is the first time it's done that. So let me put that back on. Um, I'll have to stop the camera to do that because I have the belt so tight that it takes a little bit of effort to get it back on. Okay, I've got the belt back on and I'm just going to treadle it a little more. And this is what you can do. Um, run it without a needle or without trying to sew with it until you work out these little quirks like the thickness of the belt, um, how the belt is sitting on there, the lacing your ankles. <laughs> I can't complain. With just a little bit of oiling, at least the machine is moving the way it's supposed to be moving. And now I think I'll move on to finding out if it sews. It is a little bit dark under the treadle. Um, I can move the light maybe and give you an idea of what I mean by the pedals. There they are. And so your feet go on the pedals like this. There's, you can also see the belt and the balance wheel there. And to get the machine started, um, I have to put the light down again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the wheel backwards and you'll see my feet move because the pedals are moving. And that's the action for treadling this machine with your feet. And I'm actually holding on to the cabinet a little bit to get a, a little better um, leverage because the stool I'm sitting on is moving backward a little bit. So if you were actually going to use a machine like this to sew all the time, you would have all those things set up the way that you would normally do it. You know what I mean. You'd have your sewing, your sewing table and area set up. Now the belt is sticking again, so that does need to be shaved. And I'm looking under here. This time it's not at the lacing, so I would mark that again with chalk as another area just to take a little bit off. And see, this is what I want to prevent. When the belt gets stuck like that, it pushes it to the side a little bit. So I want to prevent that. So I'll work out these quirks. The machine's not sewing yet, but it's getting there.